Hey everybody again. I'm you know somebody told me to do some more so I'm doing some more. Um actually what I was gonna do right now just because I'm fixing to have to start addressing this issue. Um I was gonna show what I'm doing as far as my inventory because I knew that was a recent thing and so a lot of people are doing videos on their um inventory and I'm going to kind of show you real quick a hot mess, which is kind of like what I was doing when I first started in the middle of February, February, March, kind of. And then now what I'm, what I'm moving that into, um, please, y'all don't judge me. <laughs> um, this room is, a, is seriously a mess um this was my guest room now it's becoming the posh room as you can see back here that's like the curtain i set up to do my pictures i got my little lights um so this is the good side of the room now we went through like major disaster with um hurricane irma and i actually still have bins with stuff just from having to throw everything that we own into bins to like keep everything safe until the roof was put back together and and like inside walls and stuff so i had like a whole bunch of and i'm gonna flip this around if it'll flip. i don't think it'll flip around okay so i had like a whole bunch of you can see the black bins those are like what we kept all our stuff in and so you can see uh, sorry it won't flip around so like this bin right here is um my athletic wear and swimwear and then that bin is like skirts and um, shorts and rompers. And then this bin is men's stuff. So those are kind of like jumbled right now just because I'm changing over to this loveliness. So these, I got these um, at Home Depot. They're, you know, just like the plastic put together their shelves and then these bins actually have the lock on tops but I'm leaving the tops off um and what I like about this is because I can just kind of slide them out and I can you know push it around and slide it the other side if it's that way but basically like this and this are both dresses and this one also has like half of it is also jeans women's jeans so what I've done is like all my items, they get an inventory number, which is a letter of the item for me and then like what number it is. And then like as stuff sold, then I can put something else when I come up and when I go in again, then I can start filling those numbers. So, cause I noticed like, a lot of people seem to have to use a lot of bins because they're not putting a lot of stuff in their bins. But what I found that works really good is you can kind of see this. I kind of fold them together. It's kind of hard to do this. Okay, so like this side's my odd number and then this side's my even number. And so I just kind of layer them back and forth and back and forth and then that way it's not getting too high you're kind of evening it out and you're getting a lot more i think i get like 20 or 30 20 or 30 pieces per um section and then um like you can see here i got three different sections of dresses and then like this is tanks um, these are regular shirts. These are t-shirts. Um, and then I still have to go through all of that and get those all set up in there. But um, I reuse my baggies. Um, I know a lot of people use like the ones and they like write a number on it. But just because I don't do the the everything bins like um, some people do, I I'm very, it would drive me crazy if I just put stuff as it was being put into inventory. So I have to kind of do
do by theme <laughs> and item. And so, I don't even know where I was going with that. This is part of getting old, guys. You like start a sentence. It's not even walk in a room and forget. Start a sentence and you forget. But basically, so, the other good thing, like a lot of people mention, you know, with the black bins, I have to dig through everything. But um, with the clear bins, it's been so many times, it's been so helpful because I didn't even have to like go through all the numbers to try and find my number from my listing. Um, there was a couple times since I'm changing this over, there's like a couple of the dresses that for some reason, I didn't get the, S, the the SKU number, which is what I use. I put that in the SKU section, and for some reason, it didn't get added. So I so it was just really easy because I knew what it looked like, and I could just look for the pattern on the side. So I really like that. I really appreciate all of the people that gave those ideas in theirs. Um, I mean, honestly this is my first expense on inventory other than the baggies and I got like um, I got boxes of a thousand baggies so I've gotten two boxes of those and like I said and then I just got um, two boxes of address labels and I just write and then that way you can put a new sticker every time you use it so like here's one that I just sold something so now that's over here in the pile of stuff that I just shot and it's going to be um, folded up and given their inventory not number and I got my laptop here to put that stuff in and then this is stuff that I'm going to shoot today this is like the rest of the shorts that I'd already started on and then these are my awesome items that I got from um, Gracie Boutique that I'm going to photo and shoot and I also have a plus size um, which actually this is oh, it's considered a medium but um, it, it really runs from like large to I think like 4XL but I like because you twist it and it can open and close and stuff and then I've got like the basic one that everybody has um, that I kind of ended up hating because I don't like the print sometimes kind of bugs me but um, I was going to get the white one to replace that but I think what I'm going to do is get the small version of that and then that way I've got some two that can um, be adjusted from little all the way up to 4x so that's going to be my next investment so hopefully I can get some of these stuff sold so I can buy that and it wasn't that much I think it was like 150 or something on Amazon um, for the medium size one and like I said it's really cool I, I can adjust them to fit everything so yeah this is going to be that whole section over there that right now is like scrapbooks and stuff all that's going to come out and I'm going to put another set of these over there and I should be able to fit the rest of my stuff there's no way in heaven or hell I'm showing you my stockpile of stuff that is waiting to be steamed because I probably pulled about at least a hundred pounds worth of clothes no exaggeration out of my and my son's closets um, when I first started that's basically what we were putting in there um, he just got home from the military so I made him go through and pull everything but then he got hired really quick and went to work as a 911 operator so what was supposed to be his in the lead thing oh, that's weird. Um, is now I'm having to help a little more um, so that takes more time just because of my disabilities there's you know sometimes that I can't really do anything um, so that makes it a little harder but in this case it's kind of good because I'm not blowing through all the inventory I had 
Um, I went to the Benz for the first time literally right when they were shutting down because I was in the Fort Lauderdale Benz. I was like 1.30 in the afternoon. They were supposed to be open until 6. And all of a sudden they start screaming. Everybody get, get out and stuff. And we're like, what's going on? Um, apparently two people had passed away at a nursing home down the street. So they were shutting down the bins and I had two carts of stuff because I like to, I kind of got the idea from the first day in the Miami bins to like fill up stuff that I liked and then go through everything and take out the stuff that's marked or whatever. Um, so... I was literally trying to pull as much stuff as I could out that I didn't know if I would sell or not and then also you know trying to look for damage and even with that I was still like the last person they're trying to kick out and I still got ended up with 90 pounds from Fort Lauderdale and um, I had 70 pounds from the day before from um, Miami so I've been listing that. I got like almost all the dresses listed. I have a huge stack of jeans and pants to list. But I've kind of been putting those off because I haven't really been doing good um, selling my jeans. And I've got them priced pretty low com comparatively speaking to what other people are doing. So I don't know if it's because I'm new or, or what that I'm not doing very good on jeans. Um, but I got like a couple, um, like I got like a pair of Madewell and a couple Luckies that I know from watching other people's stuff are supposed to be good. So I'm going to try and get those listed. Um, but I've got these to go up first. Um, I've got these that I took and listed already this past weekend that I need to bag and get put away. Um, and then I want to get all of that stuff over. So I'm hoping today to go through here and make sure that all of my dresses are marked in here with a skew. Because that has been so easy. Like I actually did decent for somebody just starting um, this past week. I had at least one sell every day. Um, I've already had two sells for today. Um, so I'm kind of happy about that. I mean, obviously I'm not doing as good as some of you guys regular, but it's, it's a process. Um, and it gives me something to, to force myself to move a little, at least every day. It's kind of like after the hurricane. Um, hurricane Irma was kind of good for me in a way because it was like every day I had to get up and it was like, okay, this three foot by this three foot. If that's all I can get clean today, I'm going to do that. And so it kind of pushes me to be as mobile as I can be without setting myself back. Um, so that's, you know, a good thing. It's kind of like a little therapy too for stress. Because I have really bad PTSD and anxiety and kind of having these things where like I'm getting control of something and like organizing even though this is a hot mess right now and it's on my anxiety um being able to start getting it all put away that's like very soothing and and so is and shopping is too like if I don't have to stand for a long time but so that's kind of like what's going on in a new person's life and thank you to all the people who um, make videos showing like where y'all have ended up after trial and error because you help us skip all of those error times and get to investing in things that are like going to be a good fit right from the start. Like I said, the stuff that I started, the only thing I really bought to begin was with the baggies and the address labels because I had a bunch of bins left over from Hurricane Irma stuff. So I kind of was using that and then also like Ikea bags, um, like I had different things sort, sorted in the Ikea bags um, and that worked okay but you know now it's like the entire floor was covered with bins of different things. This is going to work really good and I really 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 love the, the clear. 
I did not think at first. I was like, eh, clear, whatever. Already. Like, at least... At least ten times I've had something where it was, like, faster for me to just look on the outside than it was to even go through the numbers. So, yay. Thank you guys for those ideas. And, um, I really appreciate all of that. And I'm sure other new people do as well. So, if you're new like me go and watch those videos um Dion Dean um Jack Valentine and Ryan um Denali um I don't remember what Denali's name is um I found her through Jack and um Empty Hanger um oh man, there's another girl that I've watched a couple times and I don't remember her name um and then Millie and I knew Millie and Megan maybe or something. I just kind of saw some of hers today or like the last couple days I kind of saw some stuff from her because I've got some thread up uh, boxes coming. So I was kind of like looking at other people's boxes so I know how disappointed or ecstatic to be when I get those. And I have talked for, I hope that's just 16 minutes and not an hour. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will try to be more um, regular on posting. I think I am finally going to try and do a what sold, but I'm going to do it on Wednesday because, um, like regular more um more sell kind of people usually do theirs like Saturday and Sunday so I figured I'll do mine Wednesday that way um and I think I did pretty good since last Wednesday I think I don't think I had a day without a sell so that was like yay um so yeah and I think I did my numbers yesterday yesterday um when i ordered another check for my son um i think it ended up so right now since february 28th i think is when i first like kind of really was going um since february 20 not 28 yeah like 27 28 i have made like what i got back from poshmark is like a thousand fifteen dollars some of that has been cash some of it has been um like credits used on some things that i've bought from other sellers um so, not bad. I um, The hardest part for me is that where I live, especially like right now that summer is coming and people are going to be looking for sh shorts. Down here in the Keys, shorts actually cost more than pants and skirts. So, even on half off day, it's really kind of hard to m make a good margin on shorts for me so I really 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 need to be able to get back to bins and hopefully find a bunch of shorts because people are gonna be looking for it I've got some more shorts to post but again all of these shorts are either from my personal closet um, or are things that like the least expensive I've paid is like, I think it's like 350 on half off day for shorts at um, my Salvation Army so, good luck everybody and thank you so much to all of the old timers that have given so much good advice on systems of setting up your inventory, of doing like your packaging. Oh, um, Salon Mina. That was the first person I started looking at. Um, a ridiculous work ethic. Um, so yeah, thank you. Bye.